In this lesson, we'll learn how to verify vendor information and 1099 balances. Federal tax laws require companies file the 1099 forms with the IRS if they pay independent contractors $600 or more during the calendar year. When you use a vendor number on a check, the program increases the 1099 balance for that vendor by the amount on the check. On the other hand, when you void a vendor check, the program decreases the 1099 balance for that vendor. The 1099 information must be correct for each vendor before you file 1099s. Sage recommends you print or preview the 41161 Vendor 1099 Report and review each vendor record for missing or incorrect information. Let's look at that report now. This report lists individual vendor information. As you look through each vendor on the report, review for incorrect or missing information. You can correct this information on the vendor directly from the preview screen. Double-click the vendor number on the preview to open the vendor record. In the 4-4 vendor window that opens, change any information that needs an update. In this example, we'll change the 1099 type. On the Financial Information tab, change the 1099 type to 1 Non-Employee Compensation. After you correct the information, click Save. Select File, Refresh, or press F5 on your keyboard to refresh the preview information. The report now lists the correct 1099 type. We'll close the preview window and then the report printing window. To verify the vendor 1099 balance is correct, compare each vendor's 1099 totals to the cash disbursements for the vendor. To do this, print 41561 Vendor 1099 Payments. We'll preview this report for vendors with 1099 types 1 through 4 only. Review the report grand totals for the payment amount column versus the 1099 amount column. If you find a discrepancy, take a closer look at the amounts for each vendor. When you locate a discrepancy, you'll want to correct the 1099 amount on that vendor's record in 44 vendors. There may also be other 1099 adjustments you need to make based on your review of this report. You can easily adjust vendor information directly from this report. If you double-click on a vendor name in the report preview, the 44 vendor window opens to make adjustments. For example, let's say you notice that Brooks Acoustics should only be $1,000 for this year instead of $1,200. We'll double-click on Brooks, and the 44 Vendors window opens with the Brooks record ready to edit. To adjust an incorrect 1099 balance, select Options, then 1099 Balance Startup Adjustment. Click in the Startup Adjustment Date box and type the date for the adjustment. To ensure the adjustment is in the correct year, Type a date in the year that was just closed for which we'll print 1099s. The box below displays the current 1099 balance for the calendar year displayed. In the Startup Adjustment Amount box, type the value of the adjustment. Positive values increase the 1099 balance and negative values decrease the balance. We'll type minus 200. The resulting 1099 balance box displays the adjusted 1099 amount. This should be what you expect to print on the 1099 for the calendar year specified. When you complete the entry, click Save. To verify the 1099 amount updated correctly and validate the total, return to the Options menu and select 1099 Balances. In the grid, you see 1099 balance amounts for each year for the vendor. Verify the amount in the 1099 balance box is correct for the year for which you'll file 1099s. The Atrix Preparer uses the values in this grid for 1099s. Close this window, and then close the vendor to return to the report preview. 
In this lesson, you learned how to verify vendor information and 1099 balances.